the Q&A with Dave and I. I know you can play well. We haven't shown Nobu a lot. It's because he's not as easy to handle as this one. But he's down here. You say hello? He's our little two-year-old, our newly adopted two-year-old. Well, not new, like three months now? Three months, three months. Three months. months. We adopted him three months ago. A little husky. We love him, so. So yeah, we're gonna do another another q and A. I mean, another good thing about this Q&A, I don't know if you've been tracking the progress with the, the length. It's getting longer, last time. I didn't have hair. Are we engaged when we did the first one? I don't remember. Yes, you do. I don't. Were we? Yes, you do. This is in like, we were, were we? So February. Okay, we were. I don't remember. Hi. What do you mean? So yeah, I'm gonna try to answer more questions this time. Like a lot of you are asking kind of the same questions. So if you, I'll link the video that we did before about like how we met and all this stuff. I think we talked about that in the last one, right? So I'll link that one in the description box below so you can watch that one. My mom told me that I didn't let him talk a lot last time. <laughs> so I'm gonna let him talk more. Okay. I think we talked about this in the last one, but um, we can talk about it. First question was how many kids do we want and when will the first one be? And are we gonna consider adoption? I'm letting you answer the oh. questions. <laughs> Um, definitely want three kids, three children running around. Um, but I want to adopt, so to make that the fourth, um, I kind of, you know, I'm not the one pushing them out. So, yeah, I mean, at least three, possibly four. You agree? Um, I'm going to say, let's just start with one. I want a big family, so I'm not saying no. Okay, hold on. Oliver gonna hear us. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Mommy duties. Okay, so. What was I, what was I saying? Um, no, I want a big family. Three. I want at least three, but I just want to like not over, like, be overly confident because like I've never experienced childbirth. Bless you. Never experienced childbirth before. Before. And so I'm, if I'm all like, yeah, let's go ahead and have 18. And then all I right, get to well, one well, and then I'm like, whoa. You are gonna have 18. So yeah, three and then adopting one to make four. Nice even number. Everyone has a partner at the amusement parks. No one's left out. It's good stuff. Okay, next question is, what is our favorite restaurant to go eat at? Um. We like Chipotle, but are we saying like every day or? Like I mean, we, we can do both. International smoke. Yes. Wait, what? <laughs> What'd you say? International uh, smoke. <laughs> Obviously. His favorite restaurant is my cooking. <laughs> hey, if your favorite restaurant is your spouse, fiance, or wife's cooking, Comment below. Dudes. Does our family have a strong input in planning? And if so, is it hard to please everyone? That's not a question for me. Mm. So. Well, the good thing about like both of our families is like we're really in sync with each other. Like there's not one person or one family member or one side that's like f like very different than the other. So like with our theme and like what we're looking for in our wedding, it's very like classic and not like anywhere out there to where anyone would like you know be all like why are you doing that or you should do this um so i mean like it hasn't really been that difficult to please everyone everyone's been like really supportive um supportive in the fact of like what i want like they're really good at like making that happen which i really appreciate it because which makes it makes my life it ma makes my dreams come true because i'm not having to like fight for something that i really want um and like such a you know, big part of our lives. Like, especially his mom. Uh, I really wanted to have a rehearsal dinner at one of my favorite restaurants in Charlotte. And like, she just made it happen, which was really nice. Cause she didn't have to do it at all. Like I would have been fine if we had it like 
in my backyard because I just really want like all my family, like close family and friends at the rehearsal dinner just to like, you know, love on us. But the fact that like she really listened to what something that I wanted and like made it happen like really means a lot. So shout out my mama. <laughs> okay. So, where are your bachelor and bachelorette parties at? Today? Damien, I just oh. answered a question. Alright, hers is in Miami, the 305. You know what I'm saying? Good weather, good beaches, good clubs, good peoples. And his is going to be at the church. <laughs> no, just kidding. So. His is also going to be in Miami. A different weekend as mine though so that we don't cross paths. I'm excited about mine though, because like, not only is, just, is it gonna be me and like my girls, but it's also gonna be my mom and his mom and his aunt and like all of my aunts and stuff. So it'll be a really, really fun weekend with just like all the women in, our, in my life, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, I'm excited about mine too, because you know, it'll be with me, my guys, my boys, my friends. My friends, my friends, better than your friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone said, Sadell, what do you plan to do for a career? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, someone asked me what I plan to do as a career. And once, that's a ha-ha funny joke, but I actually do know what I want to do. Um, once we get married and then get like somewhat stable in a, in a certain location, I will go back to school. <laughs> Heard that. <laughs> Um, I'll go back to school and I'm gonna get my master's. It's gonna take me like three years, a little over under three years to get my master's in yeah. marriage and family um, counseling therapy. Um, and so then I wanna become a marriage and family counselor. MFT. Yeah, that's what I wanna do as my career. Right now I'm just in like a really um, unstable part of my life where there's just like at any moment I have to be somewhere or I have to move or I and I'm not where I want to be yet with my career, but I do have a direction. Um, do you guys, did you guys get the bands yet? You get money? Bands? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, we got, and, uh, we got our wedding bands actually two days ago. Um, and we're really excited for it. And we're not going to tell you what they look like. No, we're not going to show you what they look like, but he He's originally wanted, like, um... Which he'll get, but he originally wanted, he originally wanted a certain kind of ring. But I kind of talked him into getting something a little bit more like special, um, cause like you know it could look good for pictures, and like I want him to have like that one special ring, you know, that's like worth like a good amount of money that like I worked for and I could give be able to get to him because he like gave me such a pr like a pretty engagement ring and like he's giving me a really nice wedding band as well and so <clears throat> I want to be able to like give back to him something really really nice too Shut. so it'll be really nice and it was really fun to pick out and be able to see like what our bands are gonna look like together and like with what my bands look like with my engagement ring so all good things where will your honeymoon be Close your ears. <laughs> All right, America. You'll be the first to hear where the honeymoon's gonna be. It's gonna be on Earth. <laughs> I was gonna surprise her and take her out of space, but we have things to do in the fall, so it'll be somewhere on this Earth. Um, yeah, we'll be by some land, by some water, maybe some trees. Desert, I don't know. This is why I don't let him answer the question. <laughs> no, honestly, he, everyone has asked, every single person that we've talked to about our wedding, where's the honeymoon gonna be? And from the beginning, I wanted to like divvy up responsibilities or give him like enough responsibilities with like the planning process so that like I wasn't overwhelmed with everything that we had to do, but also wanted him to like have something to do. Like that was like his own thing that he could like pour his heart and soul into. And so I told him that he could plan the honeymoon and I didn't want to know. I wanted it to be a surprise. I just wanted to know how long the flight's gonna be. I know, full. Anyways, so it's a huge surprise. He's planned everything. Um, I just gave him like three criteria. It needed to be hot, tropical, and a beach. And? Good drinks. That's it. Well, so four. But 
So that way I knew how to like pack and stuff, you know? But everything else, like, I don't know anything about. Apparently, the, apparently the flight's more than five hours. I'm 100% I'm prepared for Myrtle Beach. I'll give you- Right, Chan? Yeah. <laughs> what part of this journey has challenged your faith the most? Ooh. Honestly, I don't think this has been challenging to my faith. I think that, especially in the past two weeks, Damien and I have been doing um, couples therapy, which I highly recommend for any couple that is go about to get married or whatever. Pretty marital like counseling. Pre what did I say? Couples therapy. Oh. <laughs> We're not there. <laughs> it's the same thing. But premarital counseling, I'm sorry. I highly suggest that each couple go through premarital counseling, whether it's through your church or like with a with a couple's therapist, because they do they do those as well. Yeah. Premarital. Um, it's just like really nice to have someone navigate you through like these tough discussions, like finances to like how you communicate to each other or like what things that like your spouse can do better, what you can do better for your spouse. So like, it's really, it makes it less awkward to have these like really intense but necessary conversations. Um, so I would highly suggest doing couple or premarital counseling. But as far as that goes, like challenging our, our faith or my faith at least, I don't think it's challenged, it's challenging at all because um, we're, we're growing closer to, like our faith is growing growing and we're getting closer to God not only individually but together and like the fact that we're able to like connect on that level is great too. Yeah. It helps out a lot. Shout out to Pastor Bro. How tall are you and Dame? <laughs> uh I'm five ten. Six six. Six six. And six, I like to six. talk with a deep voice even though my voice isn't that deep. Because I'm Can you guys tired. give wedding hints like the color scheme or is there any specific theme you guys have? Right, black tie. That's the theme, is black tie, that's the theme. That's all I got for um, you. But the color scheme's like really simple. I wanted to keep everything timeless and like if we were to look back at this in 20 years, I wanted it to be like this is very classy and like such like a spectacular, glamorous event, um, but not too like Great Gatsby or anything like that. So. Um, that's more what it is more the colors are like black ivory white champagnes My girls are wearing black uh, Dresses my bridesmaids are wearing black dresses and then his groomsmen are wearing black tuxes So it's just gonna be like very clean crisp. I'm really excited for we have lots of florals going on um, a Ceiling treatment over the dance floor Yeah yeah. Really cool black black velvet tablecloths. I think you guys have seen it. Oh, go look at my um I'll also link that in the comments below or in the description below. Um the vlog from Charlotte when we did most of the wedding planning, you'll see like a mock up of the tablescapes and or tablecloths and the tablescapes and stuff. That's what we have going on most there. Um Yeah. I actually helped pick all that out. But that's about it for today. We'll be back with more later. We'll do a part three. Maybe we'll do like a challenge, like <gasps> bam, bean boozled. Remember? Or if you eat one, it could be like grape or it could be puke. Or not grape, it could be um, lime or puke. If you have any other questions that I didn't answer, just leave them in the comments below. And I'll go, like I always do, I'll go back and comment back to you guys. Um, but if you wanted to, if your answer didn't get, if your question didn't get answered, uh, go ahead and check out the last link, the uh, last video, the Q&A that we did. That probably answers more of like the personal, like how did we meet, what did we first think about each other when we saw all, like, all that like coupley stuff that's in that video there, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment below if you also want us to record something, like other ideas um, that you would like to see on my channel with Dave and I. And See you in the next weekly vlog. Yeah, whatever y'all got, man, throw it at us. Feel me.